scientists discover new organ in the human throat while studying prostate cancer. So, what exactly have the researchers found? Scientists in the Netherlands have discovered a potential new organ in the human throat that they stumbled upon while carrying out research on prostate cancer. Researchers at the Netherlands Cancer Institute have identified a set of salivary glands deep in the upper part of the throat and have named them tuberial salivary glands. What exactly have the researchers found? When researchers who investigate the side effects of radiation on the head and neck were studying a new type of scan as part of their research work, they found two unexpected areas that lit up in the back of the nasopharynx. These areas looked similar to known major salivary glands. The salivary gland system in the human body has three paired major glands and over 1,000 minor glands that are spread throughout the mucosa. These glands produce saliva necessary for swallowing, digestion, tasting, mastication and dental hygiene. When researchers were studying scans from about 100 people, they found a bilateral structure at the back of the nasopharynx, and these glands had characteristics of salivary glands. According to a study published in the journal Radiotherapy and Oncology, the researchers confirmed the presence of the glands after examining at least 100 patients. The discovery may be important for cancer treatment. So far, this nasopharynx region behind the nose was not thought to host anything but microscopic, diffuse, salivary glands. The newly discovered glands are about 1.5 inches centimeters, in length on average and are located over a piece of cartilage called the torus tuberius. According to the researchers, the glands probably lubricate and moisten the upper throat behind the nose and mouth. Until now, there were three known large salivary glands in humans, one under the tongue, one under the jaw and one at the back of the jaw, behind the cheek. Beyond those, perhaps a thousand microscopic salivary glands are scattered throughout the mucosal tissue of the throat and mouth. So, imagine our surprise when we found these, study co-author and Netherlands Cancer Institute radiation oncologist Wouter Vogel said in a statement. Why are these glands being discovered only now? Researchers note that the location of these glands is at a poorly accessible anatomical location under the base of the skull, which is an area that can only be visualized using nasal endoscopy. Further, conventional imaging techniques such as a CT scan, MRI and ultrasound have not allowed the visualization of these glands. For the scans done on the 100 patients, a new type of scan called the PSMA PET CT scan was used, which was able to provide the high sensitivity and specificity required to detect these glands. What is the purpose of these glands? So far, researchers suspect that the physiological function of the glands is to moisten and lubricate the nasopharynx and the oropharynx, but this interpretation needs to be confirmed with additional research. What is the significance of this finding? Researchers believe that their discovery is potentially good news for some cancer patients with head and neck cancers. Patients with head and neck cancers and tumors in the tongue or the throat are treated with radiation therapy that can damage the new salivary glands, whose location was not previously known. Now, with their discovery, radiation oncologists will be able to circumvent these areas and protect them from the side effects of radiation which can lead to complications such as trouble speaking, swallowing and speaking. Some patients may even face an increased risk of caries and oral infections that can significantly impact their life. However, in this case, the newly discovered glands were getting hit by radiation as doctors were not aware of their existence in the human body. Thus, the new discovery may result in fewer side effects for cancer patients. Patients may experience less side effects, which will benefit their overall quality of life after treatment.